Okay. This is the second part of Unwanted. This is a note that I started writing this morning to my mom because of yesterday. This is the second attempt at that note that I started writing to my mom today. I'm trying to write book. This is the third attempt. I have a note. But I started to write to my mom yesterday. She's the only remaining parent I have left alive. I don't want to hurt my mom's feelings. So she's never going to get these notes. They will be burned. She doesn't want to hear me when I talk. And you can't talk to someone who don't want to hear what you have to say. And that's a lesson that I have had to learn. No. You can express yourself to everyone. You can talk to everyone. But if no one gives a damn, and no one wants to hear what you have to say. What have you done? You have only put yourself in a position where it only hurts you more. And more. And more. And more. What have you done? Have you made your point? You can't make a point if there's no one to receive it. You can't make a speech if there's no audience. You can't tell someone how you feel if they don't give a damn. Literally, if they don't give a damn, you aren't helping your case and you're absolutely doing nothing. You're the only person that cares is you. And no matter how you slice it, and no matter who you talk to, you know, the people that needs to hear it, don't want to admit it and don't care and what does that do for you I've had PTSD I still have it for quite some time from failing to serve my country most soldiers get it when they leave the army I got it because I left the army without serving the way I wanted to serve I am a vet I have my card, I have my DD-214, I have my cat card, my vet card, everything I have. Just in case I bump into some fellas from Stolen Valor. I got an honorable discharge because I failed to shoot with my rifle. But we found out that I couldn't shoot because I couldn't lay in the prone position. My greatest failure was not being able to serve my country the way I wanted to serve. But my true intention in life was, I wanted to die a hero. It's hard to be a hero when you can't save yourself from yourself. I've gone through a lot of shit in 45 years. I've never gotten a chance to live my life the way I wanted to. And a lot of that is my mom and my siblings fault. You know, they don't want to take responsibility. They don't want to say I'm sorry. They don't want to own up to the wrongs that they've done. And that's fine. You know, it's not my fault. You don't have to answer to me. Eventually, you will answer to the Great Spirit, the good Lord. Whatever you believe, when you leave this world, you will pay for every sin that you have done against mankind. Everyone. No one's above it. No one's immune to it. Unless your penance for paying is to go straight to hell. And some people need to be there. Some people, people who go around killing their kids, people who go around taking other people's kids over their kids, especially when their kids are not wrong, you will answer to a higher power, whether it be God, the Great Spirit, or whatever you believe in. You will answer to it. Sorry, I know you guys are wondering, why did you take your hair loose just to redo it? It's 
a little dry. Let's start some of this baby oil in here. But you will, you will answer for your crimes against humanity, against your children, against the good Lord himself, and for all y'all false prophets or people who are going to church and using God as a clutch to say that, oh, well, we believe in God. We serve the Almighty. We do all the good things that we're supposed to do. But yet we cause misery in other people's lives. You will answer for it. Believe you me. You will answer for all your sins. I will answer for my sins. The difference maker is I'm ready to meet my maker. And I own all my sins while I'm alive. I don't go around causing problems for people. I don't go around starting shit. And more importantly, I live up to my obligations. And I do what I'm supposed to do. Yes, that was a kink. And the thing is, you know, I may not be a thousand percent right, but I am undoubtedly honest about it. I don't look at people and say, no, I've never wronged anybody. Yes, I have. I've wronged a lot of people. I've tried to make amends for it. <laughs> Damn. Doesn't always work. Some people will not forgive you for the things that you've done to them. And you have to accept that shit. You know? There's a lot of people that I fought when I was six years old. There's a lot of people I fought when I was, God bless it, <laughs> when I was seven years old. There's a lot of people I fought in general that I don't deserve forgiveness for. And that's fine and dandy. Some things are unforgivable. Some ass weapons are deserved. But you know the greatest sin of all is to not own what you've done to others. When you've misled somebody, when you treated them like dog shit, when you've done things to them that should not be done to any living being on the planet, you will answer to some higher power at some point in your life. No. You might not like it. You might not want this. But it will happen. I am unwanted. I come from a family that only loved me as a means of convenience. Because it's so much easier to make James do it instead of grow up and do it ourselves. And if I was dying today or tomorrow, no one would care. Not really. My friends would care. My true friends would care. They would be the only ones that would care. As for everyone else, psh, we don't need that nigga. Oh, then when they need a babysitter, oh, we need that nigga. We never let him grow up. We never let him have a life of his own. We were out making babies when we shouldn't have been making babies. We couldn't do nothing right no matter what we've done. And not one time have we said, we're sorry. Not one time have we said, thank you for giving up your life and your hopes and your dreams and everything you ever wanted to be in life so that we could have kids and make all these fucking mistakes and do all the things that we shouldn't do. And we've cost you everything. And not only will we not try to do better, not only will we not take the nine months the kids are in school to plan for summertime because we're just that fucking busy that when summertime comes, we won't take the three months to plan for school time because we're just that damn busy. But we have you. We're gonna make you suffer. We're gonna make you watch our children. You're not gonna get to have the life that you wanted. We're not gonna let you succeed in life. We're gonna do everything we can to keep you from being successful. So, as I said in the other video, yeah, you kind of got to laugh. It's like the third or fourth one. Maybe I should have went with brown. 
I'm done. I'm done being your lap dog. I'm done being your ATM. I'm done being your fucking babysitter. If you're going to have a baby with a man who doesn't need to have babies, then that's your fault. If you're not willing to do your job as a parent, that's some shit you're supposed to consider before you have sex. That's what the fuck condoms and birth control pills are for. And if you are a parent who overreaches and can't do things and decide that, hey, my child who didn't get the right to have a life is going to take care of my siblings and their children, then you have some serious problems that you need to look within. So to my family, this video and the second, the first video, they're for you. Because y'all didn't give a damn about me. None of you give a damn about me. None of you try to do things right. None of you care. If it's not the last option, y'all refuse to do the right thing. So I'm going to stop doing what benefits you and start doing what benefits me. You can't get your kids out the bus. That's no longer going to be my fucking problem. Because I'm tired for 40 fucking years. Y'all all have had it better than me. From the damn day you were born. Except my older sister. I've changed your diapers. I've changed your baby diapers. And at once if anybody said, Well damn James, what did you want to do with your life? What did you want to be when you wanted to grow up? What did you have your future planned out to be? Well who cares? Because if y'all really gave a shit, it would have happened. Instead of me taking care of your asses and then taking care of your children. Y'all adults. A child is a full-time responsibility. It is not, hey, I'm going to have this baby and I'm going to make my big brother take care of it. Hey, I'm going to have this relationship with these dudes and get pregnant and keep bringing on home more babies. Y'all did that. Not me. And mama did that. Not me. Mama chose to have a bunch of children. And then just spaz out. Keep having them. Keep having them. With a bunch of men that were no fucking good. And it is true when they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And then their children, would they follow? Will the cycle come to an end? I don't know. I don't care. I know one damn thing for sure. I'm not watching them. I'm not going to spend another 20 years watching kids that my dick didn't create. So if you're watching this family and friends, I'm deadly fucking serious. Find a way to do better. Try. For God's sake, try. But stop making it my problem. I'm not going to continue to be a 45-year-old bum helping y'all instead of helping myself. The time has come for me to become selfish. And that's what I'm going to fucking do. And you guys are going to have to fucking accept it and find a way. Period. The end. And children, if you're watching and you're from 7 to 15, I'm sorry for the cussing. But this is what you need to know. And parents, if you're watching, this is what you need to know. Kids are not stupid. They know when they are feel loved, and they know when they are treated differently from everyone else. You better know that your kids know. I am nobody to my family, but I will be somebody to this world before my 50th birthday. Everybody's going to know my damn name. Everybody. So that gives me five years to get my shit together, and I'm going to do it because I don't have a choice. I refuse to live another day taking care of other people's responsibilities. I refuse. It's not happening no more. Thank you for watching.